Hey everyone, welcome back. Coach Megan here. Uh, today we are going to be, be doing a review of the full swing. Um, for those of you who may be new around here, this week is a great week to get started with us because we're doing reviews of everything having to do with golf. Monday was putting, yesterday was chipping and pitching, today is full swing. Um, so I'm actually, as you can see, I'm up, I'm upstairs in my house. Um, it's kind of loud outside my house today. There's a lot of lawn work and things going on with my neighbors, but this is a great way to show you that you don't need a lot of space to practice anything that we're doing. You don't even need golf clubs. Um, I'm actually going to be showing you how to do full swing by holding just a golf grip. If you don't have a golf grip, find something cylindrical that you can practice with. Um, it can be anything from like a wiffle ball bat to a tennis racket to any household, anything you can find. You could probably even hold a cup and do it that way. All right. Um, so, and our word for today is going to be perseverance. So as we've gone throughout the week, we started, like I said, with putting, pitching and chipping, full swing. These are progressively getting to be bigger golf swings. And it takes a little more practice to get everything in sync with one another. So, you know, perseverance is key. Trying, trying, trying your best, not giving up if something's too difficult. So keep thinking about perseverance throughout today's lesson. All right, so let's think about the word full and swing. If you think about the word swing, some type of motion. We're moving our arms around our body. You've probably heard of, you know, golf swing, baseball swing, I don't know if they technically call it a tennis swing, but you know, it's kind of just moving around our body. So that's swing. But what about the word full? What does full swing mean? Well, I've got this cup of water here. This cup right here, this cup is empty, right? If I pour a little bit of water into the bottom, just like that, you can kind of think of that like our putt. It's a very small swing. Remember we make our arms uh, Y, our legs A, we just go tick, tock. Tick tock, we're rolling the golf ball along the ground. Chip can be about the same, getting a little bit bigger with pitching. And by the time we get all the way up to a full swing, our glass cannot hold any more water. So if this glass right here is full, this is what I want you to think about with a full swing. It's as big as it can get. We still wanna make sure we keep our balance but it's as big as we can get. So full swing is gonna be that big swing that we're doing around our body. All right. Try not to drift this everywhere. Okay, so full swing. I have a whole video about different types of grips that when I share this on YouTube, I will link it to the grip video in the comments so you can see that. Um, but grips, so I'm right-handed. But as we've talked about, if you've been following along with our videos, these videos end up backwards. So I look left-handed in the videos, which is really funny. But I'm right-handed, so I take my left hand, put it at the top of the grip, put my right hand next to it, lock them together. I use an interlocking grip, but that's totally up to you. Like I said, I will link that grip video so you can see different types of grips. Then what I do is I get my stance ready, all right? Make my arms Y with my club, my legs A, and there's two major parts of a full swing. There's the backswing and there's the follow through. And what happens right in the middle of the backswing and the follow through is that contact is that hit with the ball. All right, so let's talk about it. First thing we're gonna talk about is posture. So, you know, I don't wanna be standing up way too tall. What I like to think about is I karate chop myself right where my belly button is, kind of bend over just like that. All right, so I'm just like that. All right, now let's talk about the back swing. I'm gonna swing back, turn my back to the target, and come up and make a letter L, looks backwards, I know, letter L with my arms. So I'm looking at my ball, I'll turn this way to you a little bit so you can see it better. Swing back, turn my back to the target, and then for my follow through, I'm gonna swing, follow through, hit the golf ball, come all the way through, point my belly button to the target, and make another one of those letter L's. So I'll do this for you facing forward. Karate chop myself in the stomach. We go, I'm looking at the golf ball the whole time. Back, turn my back to the target, follow through. All right, let's look at that again. Back, through. All right, and as I've said before, balance is so, so, so important. I'm also gonna link to one of my favorite full swing games that we did a little earlier. In the season, it's called Tap Tapping Flamingos. It's awesome, it's a great way to work on balance with your full swing. But like I said, I'm inside. This is an easy way to practice. 
Just think about looking at your golf ball. Think about holding your balance back through so that when you can get back outside and you can get to the golf course, you'll be ready. So keep working on perseverance, keep working on full swing, and we'll see you in tomorrow's video. Have a good day.